Here are the final four points to wrap up our series on the buyer services agreement. Number one, these revisions were made for you, the buyer, to help clarify the process. Secondly, the contract is going to help you understand things like agency relationship, how your agent is going to get paid. Are you working exclusively or non-exclusively with your agent and what that actually means? Third, when you sit down with your agent to discuss the buyer's service agreement, you're going to get to know your agent better and your agent's going to get to know you better. Therefore, expectations are going to be set earlier and you'll know how this whole process is going to work. And fourth and finally, in Washington State, it is the law that you sign the buyer services agreement before or as reasonably possible after your agent starts doing real estate services for you. I hope this has helped. If you have any questions, please reach out to Sally or myself. We're never too busy to help.